This teapot um, is actually one of my favorites. Uh, this was a wedding present from one of my friends who was a ceramics professor here at Truman until she retired a couple years ago. It has pears on the side and it is very nice. Um, you can see the uh, spout, you can see the handle. Um, the uh, lid is actually a little tiny pear, which is very cool. Um, you can tell that this is uh, real ceramics because it was made by hand. So the lid actually only fits one way. Um, the bottom of it is unfinished. It has your name written on it. But just like any other teapot, you would actually take your hot water and pour it in. Let it steep. And this is where, um, this is kind of cool. Since this is a piece of art, um, you certainly can use it as a teapot. Um, it might be the most expensive of my teapots, although it was given to me as a gift, so I don't actually know what it costs. Um, but for artistic purposes, she made it very elongated. And when you pour it, it actually goes in a little bit surprising way. So if I try to pour it into the cup, you can see that I actually miss. So unless I go very close to it, um, but the water shoots out just a little bit farther than you think it does. And I've made a little bit of a splash here, but again, very beautiful, has all the features of a teapot, a handle, a spout, a lid, holds hot water beautifully, steeps tea beautifully. The other problem this has as an actual thing to do is that when you have to clean it because you've put tea in it, um, the hole in the top is very small, so it's actually very hard to clear. The inside is all finished ceramic, so it actually cleans very easily, and if you just put soap and water, it comes out um, pretty good. But if you really wanted to get in there and scrub, that would actually be very, very hard to do, especially for someone with big ham hands like I have. Um, it would be very hard to get and do that. So here is, again, Wynne Wilbur's um, lovely pear teapot.